open elective paper office organization and management let's discuss the question paper pattern and most likely questions that is revision for the examination there are basically four sections a b c and d a is comprising two marks b is for five marks c is 12 d is for six marks in section a you have to answer any five b answer any four c answer any two questions and section d is one question and the total marks is for 60 and the duration of the examination is for two hours let's get started with section a the revision questions are give the meaning of modern office who's the office manager meaning of office management define office organization what is an office manual either meaning of centralization or decentralization what do you mean by virtual office? What is meant by departmentation? What is open office? Give the meaning of office environment. Meaning of office layout. What do you mean by artificial lighting? What is ventilation? Meaning of records. What is filing? Meaning of indexing. Meaning of primary or secondary data. What is Delphi technique? Section B is for five marks. Explain the importance of modern office, functions of modern office, factors influencing the choice of office location, importance of ventilation and lighting, principles of record bookkeeping and their functions, pay attention for indexing concept, importance of office mode automation, ERP packages, differentiate between data and information, write the stages of data life cycle so you have to draw and explain the data life cycle section c is for 12 marks principles of office organization and management factors affecting the selection of office site different types of office layouts and their relative characteristics you have to draw the type of layout too what is data representation or presentation of data explain the various primary and secondary data collection methods. Explain in detail the various machines used in an office. Explain the advantages and disadvantages of mechanization or automation. Life cycle stages of files. Types or methods of indexing office files. Let's move on to section D. You have to answer one question which is for six marks and it is based on skill development. Enlist the different types of machines used in the office. Identify the different types of stationery used in offices today. Draw a data life cycle chart. Draw charts indicating different types of office layout. So you can definitely prepare well for examination if you thoroughly understand the chapters and the most likely questions.